Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day one of five, and I'm currently in Atlanta. All right, Fly Crew, so yes, today is day one of five, and let me write down my schedule for you for the next few days. So today I work one flight, I do a turn. I go from Atlanta to Montego Bay, and then Montego Bay back to Atlanta, and then tomorrow I work another turn, and then the day after that, I work a three-day trip. That three-day trip consists of a 30-hour overnight. My schedule has been kind of set up that way because I have not been to work in about three weeks. The day before my birthday was the last day of my 886, and then I've just been off ever since that. This is life after the global outage i was off during that whole time and people around my seniority tried to pick up trips and help out the operation but literally no one was getting trips in my base i just stayed at home and relaxed and basically kept my peace i actually think as of yesterday things had gotten back to normal for summer flying i just pray things stay consistent with that because again this is day one of five the current time is 7 19 a.m my report time is at 8 41 a.m i'm getting ready a little bit early with the whole situation with the outage i got home towards the beginning of it therefore my bags kind of got stuck in another city and i got notification that my bags finally made it to atlanta or my bag i should say made it to atlanta because i did go on a week-long vacation and with that i had to check a bag i'm gonna try to get to the airport a little bit early so i can grab that if i don't get to the airport in enough time to grab it before i'm definitely going to try to stay back and get it after i have some things in there that i need to get i.e my makeup bag let me go ahead and gather my things together so I can get ready to head to the airport so I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, fly crew, I made it here to the airport and I'm in the international terminal. I almost forgot that they changed KCM again, but I remembered at the last minute. So I'll catch y'all when I get on the other side. We're flying on the 757-200 aircraft and I'm going to be in the two left position. Yes, we just had our briefing. So I'm actually going to look at the chart just to make sure of my duties and responsibilities because when you sit in that mid section on the aircraft, it could be a little bit confusing. But let's do a quick little walkthrough of the aircraft. This is what this aircraft looks like, just like this. This is my jump seat right here. I should be sitting closer to the boarding door. Montego Bay. They have already done all of their checks as well as the cabin cleaning and we are getting ready to head back to Atlanta. I was a bit confused because we are boarding at the one left door. Typically on the 757 we board at the two left door. We got everything together. We're getting ready to board and our kitchen we get to Atlanta. back in Atlanta. I'm about to go to domestic baggage claim and go get my bag. Hopefully the line isn't too long. Let's see what it has in store. The train will be here in the next one minute. I have no bag. I did file a claim. Basically, I was getting sent back and forth between two different areas. It's saying that my bag is actually here in Atlanta in a baggage room, but when they go in the baggage room to locate it, it's not there. Hopefully I get my bag back very soon. I just came back from vacation. It has the majority of my stuff. And something in my soul told me not put my makeup bag in my check bag. I was being lazy and I didn't want to hold it. I'm sure y'all know how much makeup costs. And it's makeup that I accumulated from over time. I hope and pray that it is found ASAP and it can get delivered to me ASAP. The current time is 6.33 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and go home. I'll catch y'all when I get to the house. Good morning, fly crew. Today is day two and I'm currently at home getting ready to head to the airport. I just remembered that I do not have a watch on. It's usually plugged up in my bathroom, but I think I plugged it up in my bedroom. So I need to make sure I grab that before I walk out of the door. So I'm gonna do that right now. Watch is on. Today I have two flights. I go from Atlanta to Antigua, Antigua back to Atlanta, and then I should be done around 8.30 p.m. Hopefully we land a little bit earlier because tomorrow I start a three-day trip and I haven't packed anything. I mentioned to you all yesterday that I really haven't worked since July the 7th. My 
my work bag is just over there in disarray. Well, our pour time tomorrow isn't until like the afternoon, early afternoon. So I do have a little bit of time, but I would like to sleep in. My report time is in about an hour and 20 minutes. So I actually need to go ahead, take Maximus out so I can leave and I'll catch y'all in a bit. We're flying on the 737-900 aircraft. I'm gonna be working on the back of the aircraft, but I'm not galley. This is what the aircraft looks like. This is what it looks like this way and this way. The galley is back there getting everything together. We're gonna to be boarding in the next about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my breakfast and I'll catch y'all when we get to Antigua. We made it here to Antigua. We do dual deep cleaning here, so that's why I have so much light shining on me because the back door is open. All the customers are off, they are doing the security suite, and we don't get catered here. We got round trip catered, but we do need ice, so we're waiting for them to bring that. Let me show you my view. very nice they were like oh this is your first time here at the island i was like yeah they were like you need to make sure you come back for vacation i'm gonna look it up because it looks very nice security checks are complete we have done everything and i kept all in atlanta i'm back in atlanta y'all it's dark outside it was bright outside when i left and now it is dark still no word on my bag still in the system somewhere i'm headed home and i'll catch y'all in a bit Good morning, Fly Crew members. Today is day three of five, and I'm currently in Atlanta. I'm walking to the shed so I can go ahead and catch the shuttle to head to the airport. I'm making good time. Where I park is kind of a convenient location. When I return, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. It's about to rain, or well, it's drizzling, so I need to hurry up, and i catch y'all when I get to the airport. I was about to sit over here in the corner and eat my acai bowl like I got from Amazon. But then I realized that my aircraft is here. I think the plane is been here for a while because I do want to sit down and eat. Today I have three flights. I go from Atlanta to Rochester, Rochester back here to Atlanta, and then I go to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So I'm really excited about that. I checked the weather. It's kind of supposed to rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much so I can get out and about. The last time I came to San Juan was last year for one of my friend's birthday. So that was a really great time. I'm not sure about what I'm going to do there. I actually check the weather again because I checked in midday yesterday for summertime in the Caribbean things can change pretty quickly let me go ahead and go to the gate and see what's going on and I catch y'all in a bit I'm on the aircraft we're flying on the Airbus 320 aircraft I might be able to show you all that but I'm actually working galley today so I'm gonna be really busy the aircraft is a little bit warm so the pilot just told us they got some external air or something plugged in because I'm probably like really really glossy too early in the day to start sweating it's like 7 50 or 8 o'clock or I don't know what time it is too early to be this hot so they're working on that I'm gonna get in my galley queen duties and I'll catch y'all in a bit they ended up delaying boarding a little bit so the aircraft can cool off and I do feel the air now. So let me make sure all of my air vents are open so they can be blowing directly on me while I prep the galley. And we should start boarding in the next 10 minutes. I'm gonna finish doing everything I need to do and I'll catch y'all when we get to New York. here to Rochester. I do want to make it clear that I'm saying Rochester. Y'all yeah, know I'm country and I have an accent. I was watching myself back and I'm like, am I saying it properly? We're getting ready to go back to Atlanta. We have about five minutes until we start boarding. When we get back to Atlanta, we do have a little bit of ground time. I think two hours or so before we work our flight to San Juan. And I'm probably going to eat then just so I'm not starving on the way down there. I just want to pop in speak to y'all while I'm here in New York and I'll catch you all when I get to Atlanta. All right, Flacco, so I'm here in Atlanta. I ended up getting something from Fresh to Order. I'm getting a salmon panini. So it took us a little while to get here to Atlanta. There's weather here in Atlanta. It's raining. I think we landed about 30 minutes delayed because the pilots called us and told us air traffic control was slowing us down. They basically made us do really good circle in the air and then we did final descent. Once we got on the ground here in Atlanta, it took us a while to wait on the gate and taxi to the gate and all of that stuff. We still have a little bit of ground time before we head to San Juan. I'm trying to get my food and then I'm going to go to the lounge and eat it just so I can sit at a table and eat and not stand up in a corner somewhere random and be a little bit secluded. 
All right, black girl, so I'm done eating in the lounge and I was getting ready to bite into my apple and this is what it looked like. They gave me a rotten apple, so I call myself trying to be healthy and get an apple instead of potato chips and I get a rotten apple. So I'm headed back over there to switch out my apple and then I'm going to my gate. So I have about 35 minutes or so to do that. Probably about 30 minutes now since I've left the lounge and I'm headed and waiting on the train. So I'll update y'all after I get my apple. Tenants are on board. I'm gonna eat my apple and I catch y'all on the aircraft. We're flying on the 737 900 aircraft. You can see the light back there, so our catering is still working on their stuff in the back. I'm gonna pre flight check my equipment and then see if I got everything I need. I'm in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So the first place I'm going is my balcony because I have a balcony and I have a partial ocean view. I specifically asked for some type of ocean view. Of course it's nighttime so you can't see it, but this is what my view looks like at night. I'll be definitely showing you all tomorrow. Do you hear all the bugs and creatures? We'll be closing that back up because Oh, come on now. Let me go ahead and close my blinds so I can tell you all about my day. So I was so nervous of us going back through Atlanta, meaning Atlanta to Rochester and then Rochester back to Atlanta. I'm super junior and I was so worried that I might get rerouted. I know I ran straight to the balcony to see my view and feel the air and all that. It's very warm and feels very nice here at night. But let's really get into the room tour and we're gonna start in the bathroom. When you first walk in the room to your left, here is the restroom. And here's a nice stand-up shower, nice size shower. And then here is the bathroom. So I do like that you have two light options. You have this one. Oh, there's another light option here. And then you have this one right there for the mirror. I like that a lot. And then you have the toilet area right here, right behind the door. You come out of the bathroom and here is the bedroom. Before that, you do have a body mirror right here. Nice size body mirror. Here is a view of the room from the other side. And then here is a TV in the desk area. So I'm pretty sure there's a mini fridge in here, even though I didn't really bring much food. I actually didn't bring any food. I just brought snacks and some drinks, but I'll put my drinks in there just in case I might use it later on. And as you can tell from my excitement earlier, I'm happy to be here. One of my crew members invited me down to have drinks with them at like a local area, not far as like walkable to the hotel, but I probably won't go because today was a long day, y'all. My poor time was at 7.55 a.m. It is currently 9.28 p.m. Long day. I'm not quite sure what time we landed, but I do know we landed about 10 minutes early here. I do feel a little headachy, and I just think it's because, you know, been working the last three days, long flights, not probably hydrating the best, I will admit. So I'm gonna make sure I drink a ton of water before I go to sleep tonight. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I think it really is dependent on me checking the weather and kind of deciding, but I know I'm gonna do the pool, I'm gonna do the beach, weather dependent, and I'm just not sure if I'm gonna get out and about in San Juan. I've been to San Juan several times, Times. I have a highlight on my Instagram page. You can check it out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get settled. Like I said, it was a long day. I need to actually watch one of my YouTube videos so I can upload it. It's a longer vlog. It'll be this one right here. If you haven't watched that one, make sure you check it out. I need to watch that through and make sure there are no tweaks or anything that I wanna do to it. I can't draw in a bit. Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day two of three, and I'm currently in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I went to bed around midnight, a little bit after midnight. I was dozing before that. I started dozing around like 10 45, 11 p.m., and I was trying to stay up because I had some computer work I needed to do, and I was like, oh my God, like, hurry up. It was so rough, but I got it done, and I woke up around 2 a.m. to make sure I closed my laptop. So I woke up around 8.30 this morning, 8.31 to be exact, and I was like, Ugh. 
because I wanted to sleep later. I wanted to sleep until about 9.30, but my body wouldn't let me. Been doing a little bit more computer work and trying to plan my day. When I say plan my day, just decide if I'm gonna do the pool or the beach or what I'm gonna do. Usually you all know that I try to do like an activity when I come to places like this, but I'm just keeping it loose today because I'm gonna go on vacation in like two days. So what I'm about to do now is just get dressed, put on a swimsuit and check out the pool area, check out the beach. I'm gonna do that and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, Flacker, so it is 12.23. I absolutely positively need to get out of this hotel room. So I was having a wardrobe malfunction with my swimsuit. One of the things came off and I couldn't get it on track and it was just doing the most. I fixed that and then I was on the phone with the baggage service office trying to get updates on my luggage. I need the stuff that's in that bag so I can prepare for my next trip. I finally got everything together as far as my, wait, did I put this on wrong? I grabbed my water bottle and then I have my sunglasses in my bag. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to put those on before I go outside because I see it's pretty bright out. So I'll catch y'all when I get out there. I almost stepped on two lizards. Or two iguanas? I'm not sure, but they were in the lizard family. I was walking, and you know how you just have that sense of something things in front of you, or you're about to fall, or something like that. I looked down, and it was two medium-sized lizards running across, and there was this couple coming in the opposite direction. They were like, we're so glad you looked down. Don't worry, I didn't harm any wildlife. that this hotel has so many hidden little gems. Puerto Rico, especially San Juan, it's like that. You could be riding through the city and next thing you know you'll see a fort. But I started walking around the property and I was like, this is beautiful. So someone had the same idea as me because I was going to ask them would they bring the chair over for me, but one is already here. So I'm going to enjoy this. You probably hear the plane and I'm sorry if it's super windy. It just feels so great outside today. showered i am changed and i'm getting ready to head to the old san juan area i think i want to go to barranchina i think that's how you pronounce it barranchina it's the original place of the pina colada the current time is almost 5 p.m my report time in the morning is at 4 40 a.m so early i'm wearing a pink crop top a pink tennis skirt i have my kind of creamish crossbody bag and then i'm wearing some white and creamish sneakers i'm doing one last look off the balcony because it might be dark when i come back so one last look and let's head out Marshalls after I left Barranchina. It was right there. I just was like, oh. The thing I like about TJ Maxx and Marshalls is that none of them are the same. They're all a little bit different. So when I see one, I always feel the urge to go in there. I got this bag and it's so funny because I saw a flight attendant with a bag. It, it was either this bag or a very similar bag. She took it on my turn yesterday or the day before yesterday now when I went to Antigua. And I was like, dang, that's a really cool bag. The thing I like about it is that it has a zipper in the back and it can also go over your luggage. It has these pockets and zippers in the front and then it Inside it has a zipper pocket and it also has like a little sleeve if you have a tablet or a laptop. I got some face wipes. These are one of the things that I bring with me to wash my face. I ended up getting some deodorant wipes. I got some mouthwash. 
I ended up getting an exfoliating washcloth. This is a two pack. I got an extra large shower cap. I also like this bag because it has a little string on it where you can hook your keys. And if you all know, things like that can really get lost in your bag. So I do like that it has this on it as well. From Varachina to go, I ended up getting the grouper with shrimp, rice and beans. When I came last year, I ended up getting the grouper. And then my friend and I, we ate her 24 ounce snapper. It was huge. I wanted to get the snapper again, but I don't want to have anything to take with me, especially fish. I just got the grouper and the shrimp because I knew I could finish that in one sitting. I had a nice relaxing day. The current time is 8.31. I really should be laying down at 9. We'll see if that happens because as I mentioned earlier, my van time is at 4.40 a.m. I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day three of three, and I'm currently in San Juan, and I'm getting ready to head downstairs. The current time is 4.24 a.m. Got to keep my cup from yesterday, and I'm gonna put this in my bag. I washed it out, so that's why it's randomly in the bathroom. I'm gonna pack up, and I'll catch you downstairs. up leaving my ring in the room. This is why I always plan to leave 10 minutes early, just in case random little things like that happen. I still have like five minutes to spare, even though I've already gone back and came back down. Good morning again, Fly Crew. We're on the aircraft and we're flying on the 737-900 again. We just got on the aircraft, so we're getting everything set up and going. I'm putting my bags in a closet because today I'm gonna to be the flight leader assist. We do have a speaker on this flight, so he's gonna do boarding and then we're gonna do a switcheroo after boarding. I just got done putting out all my water for my flight leader. Our gate agent here, or somebody, I'm assuming the gate agent, already wrote cards for the first class, thanking them for flying with us. We thought that was very cute. We're actually gonna thank her for doing that because it's like, one this thing that my flight leader said that she was gonna have to do this morning. My pre-flight checks are done. Just gonna make sure everything is in order, see if she needs any assistance because there are meals on this flight headed back to Atlanta and I'll catch you when we get to Atlanta. tell y'all. So first things first, we made it back to Atlanta, but we got rerouted. Originally, we were supposed to go from San Juan to Atlanta, have a three hour sit or three hours of ground time, and then go Atlanta to West Palm Beach, and then West Palm Beach back to Atlanta. But when we were in the air, one of the pilots called us and said, did y'all check your schedules? You got rerouted. We were like, what? He was like, now you just did head to Indianapolis, and then you work the flight back from Atlanta. Check our schedules, no more three hour sit. I think we were on the ground maybe like 45 minutes or so before we for our deadhead and now I am in Indianapolis. We just work one flight back to Atlanta and I should be done and then I'll be headed home. Next thing I have to tell you is that we're working with a father and a son. The son is being upgraded to captain and the father is doing his checks or check ride. I'm not quite sure the terminology. They had a decent overnight in San Juan and got to hang out together on this trip and I just thought it was so nice. We were originally supposed to lose those pilots when we got back to Atlanta but now we're working with them. They flew the plane and we did head it to Indianapolis. We're flying on the 737-900 or the 737-R. Remember that's the one that doesn't have the seatback screens has all of that space in two parts of the plane. morning fly crew today is the day after my trip and I wanted to take the time out to close out this vlog yesterday we had a reroute and the reroute worked out so great in our favor I think I started getting up around 3 30 ish a.m yesterday a nap was needed so that deadhead was right on time I think the flight time might have been like an hour and when I tell you I slept the entire hour I definitely slept the entire hour yes we got rerouted but it ended up being a good reroute when I got done with the work yesterday I came back home I shot and I took a nap because I went to the gym later on that night. I love the trip. It was a good transition from not working for about three weeks and then I did a turn, a turn, and then I had a 30 hour overnight in a great location. The current time is 10.02 a.m. and I'm getting ready to leave the house because I'm going to go to the dermatologist to have a minute little procedure. Tomorrow, I'm going to go on vacation. Fingers crossed for my bag because the vacation I'm going on tomorrow, the stuff that's in that bag, I need it for my trip. It's been about 11 days at this point since it's been delayed. I'm optimistic 
Thank you all so much for joining me on this vlog. If you're not a subscriber, please make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in my next vlog. Bye.